Hey guys, we're here with second place winner for the Symphony of AI Award for Best AI Video, and it's Jan. How do you feel about coming second place? Well, I feel uh, great. Uh, really, really thankful for this uh, this prize and the opportunity. And, um, you know, for me, it's just like uh, participating in these film festivals or in these awards ceremonies is really about stretching the you know my, the creativity and um you know, it's just like you get a theme or you get a you get an idea you get a concept and in a really brief time create something out of that that you know resonates uh with with what i had in mind that's that's really cool with really pushing yourself out there and uh so you know getting second place here in this uh, this competition uh, or in this uh, ceremony is really 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 cool and um, empowers me as well to, uh, you know, to, to push further and um, create more stuff. Yeah, I, ha I have to say that the community is, is really good for encouraging you to, to keep going. Absolutely, absolutely. It's just like, you know, even if, if your content is still experimental in nature, you can just put it out there and get feedback. And, you know, it's just like uh, there's, there's zero failure, there's zero, and it's, it's just feedback. It's just like people enjoying it or, or saying, uh, or, you know, asking questions about how you made it. And this is, this is really what I love about the AI community is just like, it, it's, there's, there's never, you know, these competitions, they're just forms, but it's really like this collaboration between people. You know, also on Discord, when we had the runway uh, Gen 48 competition, I think it was somewhere in January, February, a lot of people were cheering for each other when they submitted their content. So that's that's in a competition. It's kind of unique. So and that is what I feel about the AI community. It's lovely people. Also, I really loved meeting people live. You know, we met as well. Uh, it, was, it was such an amazing vibe. You know, it's like we've been knowing each other for years. That's that's how. Yeah, we, uh, yeah. For, for for the audience, we we actually met um oh, a few weeks ago in Amsterdam. Actually, at the yeah. AI Film Festival. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was fun. It was so, it's so strange meeting all these people off, off yeah, LinkedIn. Yeah, but it also felt pretty normal. Yeah. Just been hanging out, you know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the other, conversation so. just flows like that, doesn't it? Yeah. I had that with uh, Billy as well, you know. We were just uh, commenting on each other's uh, posts for a while and then, uh, you know, just uh, started talking in the podcast and was really like, uh, you know, this, uh, I know this guy for years. So that's, yeah. that's how cool this community is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's awesome. Yeah. All right. So, um, could you t could you tell us a little bit about yourself for people that don't know much? Um, yeah. What have you been doing the last few years? Yeah. So uh, my name is uh, Jan Willem. I'm from the Netherlands. Uh, so I work as a creative director at Video State. Uh, this is a company I uh, founded uh, last year. So I actually started uh, in the early of January 2023 with a YouTube channel, just sharing my knowledge and what I saw with the rise of AI video back then. And, um, uh, you know, I've been producing video myself since 2016. Uh, before that, I had a career in, uh, in events and exhibitions. But um, yeah, so, so there in that time, in the event exhibitions, the project management skills, you know, really helped me in, in creating videos for clients. Uh, I've traveled through the entire spectrum of like creating hand-drawn animations to like creating videos for hotels and real estate. Uh, but now this this time where I actually can create films, this is a dream come true. You know, as you can see behind me, you know, this is really like the the the, the video. The, I, I grew up in the VHS era in the video store and uh, studied a lot of this artwork. And even, you know, when my parents lost me, they would call the video store and ask them, hey, can you tell them that we were going to have dinner soon? You know, so they could <laughs> send me away. And um, I, I take a lot of my inspiration and I, I find a lot of cinematic wisdom in that corner uh, that is totally useful today because we are creating content with AI, we're creating films, but in these, in these, in this, in this section here and there's all these movies, there's so many wisdom in how to create characters, uh, how to create worlds, the, the storytelling, uh, creating, uh, you know, these visuals, they have been, you know, they have been converting audience for decades. So we can learn from that as well in creating posters that are in front of our content. And uh, with Video State, I just, uh, uh, you know, hope to inspire people to start their own AI filmmaking journey because everybody can do it. Everybody can participate in these events, in these film festivals, in these ceremonies and, uh, and just stretch themselves to create because it's, uh, it's our destiny. Yeah. Okay, if you could just talk us through what you were doing with this video, it's called The Cursed Chronicles. Yeah, so uh, in my early adventures in AI video creation, I was actually, um, you know, 
wandering around, how do you say, like uh, walking around, wandering in the public domain. And in the public domain, I found stories that are actually 100 years old that we can use right now to reimagine. And the first two uh, were um, Dracula and Frankenstein. And uh, I also I was also busy in, in, in thinking about franchises and creating franchises with AI. And actually, Universal Monsters, that's, uh, that's Frankenstein, Dracula, the Mummy, and the Wolfman, are part of the very first franchise that uh, has been created in 1930s. So it's almost 100 years ago by Universal. And I, and I found them, they were bound by a curse. They, each of them, each, each four of them has a curse that they, that, you know, that weighs on them, that they, they have this story. They're, you know, uh, they, have, they have a lot of uh, challenges. There are a lot of dif difficulties. And uh, so I thought, let's put them together. And um, so that's the, hence the name Curse Chronicles. But the glass stain animation, uh, I got inspired by the intro sequence from Belle and the Beast from Disney. Uh, so you have this uh, tale about this prince that is being cursed because uh, he's not nice to people by this uh, by this uh, beautiful uh, uh, what do you say like a sor sorceress uh, and yeah. you know, turns into a beast. And that visual style influenced me to create a glass stain animation. And I created glass stain animation in Hyper, uh, really, really limited amount of prompts. Just uh, and and uh, I started uh, editing it further in the uh, in After Effects. Uh, created the music, the voiceover, and um, yeah, and and uh, I got this was actually one of the first uh, AI uh, film concepts uh, that I uh, that I created. Uh, yeah, so this one is called Quantum X, and this is uh, a car commercial that I created in uh, in Pika Labs. Uh, together with the images and ideogram, and um, it was actually based on. Uh, I started. I, I started the concept based on Scar Scarface. Uh, Scarface has the soundtrack from. Uh, I think it's uh, and from uh, Push It to the Limit, and um, <laughs> I thought you know with AI we are pushing our limits. We are pushing our creative limits. So I, I wanted to create a commercial out of that. And you know it's it's really about pushing pushing our minds. And uh, so I thought, okay, we need a vehicle to push our minds. So hence the the car. Um, and quantum, you know, it, it's it's readable from quantum physics, which is really about this, you know, this the theory and and the, the law of attraction. That if you put your mind somewhere to it, to a certain direction, a creative direction. Oh, the secret, yeah. Better. Yeah. So uh, and the X in quantum X X is just like the direction you point your your uh, your vision to it. Um, so in the smoke, the smoke you see in the car is actually your instinct. It's 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 some kind of a uh, every every time the car changes color when it drives through the smoke. So I was a little bit um, you know I was I wanted to create something like this, and I, I broke the fourth wall a little bit by uh, having a uh, boy sitting in the 80s with all these toys around him, saying "Dream big, start small," which is actually the 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 entire uh, essence of the the concept. So. Yeah, just reading the. Uh, you've, you've written it. Oh, you submitted it for that. Oh, yeah. was that was that in the thing? Was that in the yeah, cinema? I submitted, yeah, I submitted it for the AI uh, Film Festival. Yeah, in Amsterdam. Yeah. So was was it on in the cinema when I was there? Uh, no, uh, unfortunately, it didn't, uh, uh, didn't get any uh, selection. I was going to uh, say because I I would have remembered that one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, this was uh, my uh, submission for the. Film Fast 72 hour competition by Pika Labs and 11 Labs. So at 72 oh, hours. they're doing that as well. I thought it was yeah. just runway. Yeah. yeah. And I, it actually started with an email with the theme. And the theme was uh, post realism. I got it on Friday and I had until Sunday to, uh, to create a film that uh, resonated with the concept. Mm. And again, I was already um, familiar with the public domain. I was, I was just wandering through and see which stories uh, could be reimagined and i came with the uh, phantom of the opera which is uh i think was created in 1880 by this french uh, writer and uh, so i uh i i started but i started there and um i started thinking about a horror version of phantom of the opera and um then when i was walking outside it struck me that there was another character in in uh, in the public domain that i could tie to it and that was count dracula this was text to image prompt in ideogram and then uh upscaled and then uh pika labs animated the video why so why do you use ideogram then uh because i really enjoy the the text to image it's the, the prompts are so 
uh, I would say like um, the the renders, the image generation. I must say the image generation is extremely close to the text prompt, and in Mid Journey, you need more time to get that right. Um, and I just saw that the consistency, Mid Journey did not have the consistency in character yet, while mm. Ideogram already had that. Uh, also, the amount of uh, renders that I could do in Ideogram was uh, was extremely high related to Mid Journey. The only thing is that Ideogram, uh, you know, it operates some kind of a model of Mid Journey. I think it was Mid Journey four, four or five. So the, the image quality, you know, is something that it's not as good as Mid Journey. We'll see. Oh, we're on 16 minutes, so we've definitely gone over, so I have to cut that down. <laughs> okay, okay, look. <laughs> yeah. This is Puppet. Hey, Puppet. Master of Puppets. The Puppet Master. Sometimes that's, puppet. What I, sometimes that's what I call her, the Puppet Master. Yeah, yeah exactly. Um, okay, once again, uh, thanks. Um, Jan. I'm saying it right, Jan? All right, Jan's yeah, fine. Yeah. Jan? Yeah, okay. Thanks Thanks so much for coming on and putting some time aside. We've, we've got some more content coming up. Um, we, we, we spoke for ages. <laughs> I was in the middle of it and I was like, wow, we've got to record this. This is re really good stuff. So there's some more content coming from both of us soon. Sweet to see yeah. you guys. Bye. Hey guys, it's James here. So are you at creating AI video or AI images? If so, this is the place for you. So each month I do a competition where there is a first place, second place and third place winner for each category. So if you enter, um, if you enter your video, you can get, you can send me up to three videos. Only use the form that's on the screen right now to enter your video for best video, right? Don't send me, I know some of you send me WhatsApp messages and LinkedIn emails, Facebook sometimes. Please don't do that. <laughs> Please use the form because otherwise I'll forget that you sent it to me because I get so many messages about this sort of stuff that I can't always remember what everyone sent me and I've got a bad memory. Um, if you want to enter your image for the best image, you can scan the code that's on the screen right now. Again, you've got until the end of the month to enter. So that's the end of this month as well, by the way. And I've just announced entries for another competition but that was for june um so you'll so let, let's say like you enter by the end of month one people have got the until the end of month two to vote for you some people still keep voting past this date I, sometimes i go into the form and i'm like why are people still voting I've, I've announced the winner already why are people still voting um anyway so if you ever want to see the entries for any of the previous competitions you can go to the link that's on the screen right now just go and scan that or type in the little bitly link or whatever i'll put there uh that's where i put all the entries is there um so it goes out on my personal youtube 2.6k goes out onto the ai mode youtube channel i've got 20 subscribers not many at the moment um goes out on the ai mode linkedin page got 300 subscribers on there at the moment and um, goes out on my own profile I've got about just under 5,000 followers on there and then I also post into groups as well so you're tagged in all of the posts so don't think of this as a competition just think of this as a little bit of um, advertising for you because your name gets mentioned your work gets seen your name is right next to the video as you see it so it's very easy for people to vote for you if you want to send the voting link to people I thought I'd put it in here to make it easier uh, just scan the scan the code that's on the screen right now um, It'll take the pe person to the place where they need to vote and again same th for the best image they can vote there Yep, that's it. So if you're interested in taking part or just having your work um, Advertised then please get in contact with me um, You know, I give out awards every month to people so this is good to have on your CV You know if you're out of work right now, it's good for that and also it's just good for your personal profile I mean, I'm not like mega influencer or anything like that, but I do post it into a lot of places So I post it into groups post it on my own profile get shared you get tagged um you know this this is this is this is like a good ad for you if you're looking for work so um there's also that and plus you know it's just good to keep your face being seen on linkedin this is how you get work all right until next time i shall see you soon good luck in the competitions and um vote for other people please read the rules please read the rules on those links thank you all right bye